Hi, I'm, I'm Colin Clark, um, obviously an old guy, been around a bit, spent a lot of time living all over Australia, a lot of it's been in a uh, mobile situation, just living rough with my wife, we love it. The meaning behind this particular painting is one that unfolded from my travels was the extent at which there were mass killings of Aboriginal people. Um, I call them massacres. Um, and it, it started off with a very, very small amount of knowledge and slowly has built and built and built, almost like a, a torrent, little creeks starting into a flooded river to the point where I believe that every nation in Australia pre-1788 was affected by massacres to some degree. And uh, so what I've done with this is to try and record the, the enormity of the, this, these massacres. Some of the, um, the representations on this painting um, come about from, first of all, the names that are written there come from uh, an Aboriginal educational resource names of, of nations or languages right across this nation pre-1788. And I placed them in, in a pattern of um, representing sand dunes because that was another main feature I found across Australia was the predominance of sand dunes representing country and the enormity of them. Not just little ripples like we see on the beach but kilometres after kilometres of sand dunes and so it's way of representing or me trying to represent the whole of this country in sand dunes. The, um, the last phrase down at the bottom of the painting there, lest we forget our massacres. We should never forget the massacres. We've got to own them. We've got to use them to remember, use them to hopefully build a better relationship between people in this, this country. My personal response was um, at coming across these, the enormity of the brutalities. And I, I'm trying not to use too harsh words, but I see it in these terms. Was one of sadness, great sadness inside. Um, not, yeah, and owning that sadness. And I thought probably the best way I can own this sadness is to show tear drops and so I've painted teardrops just flowing all over this painting painted in red white and blue the colors of the British Empire from which I guess is the foundation for where I come from and so I'm, I'm crying my sadness at this history we um, toured around Australia last year and my wife had this painting on the mobile phone and uh, we went on an Indigenous tour in, in South Australia. But a man who was very, very passionate about the injustices which, which the Indigenous people have faced was conducting the tour. And he made it pretty obvious that his point of view, um, but in a friendly, joking way, one that didn't alienate but brought out conflict. And, Somewhere along the line, I said, would you like to see a painting my husband's done? And he said, sure. And he, she told him that it was about Aboriginal European interface. And, and she showed him and said, this is about the massacres that took place in Australia. And this, this man just looked at my wife first, hugged her and cried. Cried almost, I, I felt in, people do understand the truth do know the truth. It is good. I felt so, so happy, <laughs> happy about the response because it's, it was achieving what I was hoping to achieve, to bring reconciliation, about just, just acknowledging the truth.